There are many people who will be interested in measuring various electronic outputs of wireless origin. Um, some people have mentioned that they'd like to be able to tell what is coming off of the cell towers, the so-called masts. I have a friend who was working for Lucent Technologies at one time. Uh, he was actually one of the very earliest hackers, a uh, successful hacker and he had been arrested for this and put in jail when Bush got in as um, president, as governor of Florida, excuse me, when Jeb Bush got in as governor of Florida, this man was released from prison and then employed by Lucent Technologies because he was a very brilliant guy. He would go around in his van and the van was specially equipped to measure the output of the masts, the cell phone towers, or what have you, the antenna. And this is because at that time, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm almost positive at that time, there were strict laws against where these masts could be placed. They couldn't be placed near hospitals. They couldn't be placed near schools. Um, all those regulations were relaxed by Bill Clinton and uh, it was part of Bill Clinton's legacy, his, his much vaunted and um, ever propounded legacy, I, I believe. Anyway, <clears throat> this little video, is, I will tell you about what I know about measuring outputs of antenna, wireless outputs of various types. Um, what you need to do is build a digital oscilloscope and a spectrum analyzer. This is also good for detecting bugs, uh, it's something that's used by private investigators or people who are counter surveillance types. Uh, the problem with a lot of the bugs today is they're pulse bugs and they actually record on a chip and then when they um, broadcast, they don't actually broadcast, they pulse out in a very sh a period of very short duration all the information at once. So it's very hard to detect something like that unless you're actually monitoring your area 24-7. The digital oscilloscope and the spectrum analyzers that can be built uh, today can do things like that and they can also be used to uh, mo uh, with mobility measure any kind of wireless outputs um, anywhere. What you have to do is get a cheap laptop somewhere and this should be an IBM PC type of laptop, not a Macintosh. Uh, I haven't had much luck finding any software for the Macintosh along these lines. Uh, once you get the cheap laptop, you can usually secure those for $100 or less. Then you can go ahead and maybe upgrade it for more memory. What you basically are after here is um, a single program called the Digital Oscilloscope. DOS. They run from $200 to $600 a piece. And what it does is it allows your uh, computer to become an oscilloscope of super flexibility and variability and power that makes any oscilloscope of the past look really primitive. And this is a good thing. You want to go for the lower priced um, in the beginning and maybe you can reverse engineer or find the software somewhere for free. This is probable, not just possible. The digital oscilloscope is, like many other electronic instruments, strictly dependent upon the probes or the input devices that are used to measure various types of, of electronic energies. You can't have too many probes. And as far as measuring wireless is concerned for detecting bugs or um, discerning what kind of energies are being broadcast off these antennas or any antenna for that matter the more probes you have and the more comprehensive your selection of probes the better off you'll be as far as uh, being able to uh, accurately measure many different things once you have the digital oscilloscope in place on your laptop then you're going to want to find a program some software that's going to also turn this into a spectrum analyzer. Now, this used to be a six to seven thousand dollar unit from Tektronix. Those were the leaders in this type of technology. But now, because of the digital oscilloscope technology available for your laptop, you can get this spectrum analyzer 
uh, program for little or nothing because it's also used in the music industry. Um, it does what its name implies. It analyzes the spectrum of energy or outputs. Um, in this case, you're going to want to have the probes necessary to measure wireless um, uh, energies and this the probes are actually what you are going to use to input the digital oscilloscope. It's going to take a lot of practice. You're going to have to learn a lot in order to do this type of thing but once you get it down you'll be able to not only measure various types of energy but their amplitude and their types this is necessary if you are under attack by the radiant arsenal you'll be able to see spikes you'll be able to see when you're pulsed yourself from whence it comes you can triangulate and things like that if you're serious about anti-surveillance and counter intuition of the radiant arsenal if you want to nail the people that are attacking you with microwaves or anything like that the government people who are employed by the military who are actually owned by Israel if you want to you know nip that all in the bud if you want to survive this is how you do it you don't sit there and make up stories you don't sit there and try to piece things together you make a digital oscilloscope and a spectrum analyzer from a laptop computer and you learn how to use it